All right, so I said I was gonna cover this phone, and now I got it here. Actually, I got two versions of it. Very exciting times around here. This is the Oppo Reno Ace. It is the world's fastest charging smartphone. Five minute charge for two hours of use. Fill up the entire 4,000 milliamp hour battery in 30 minutes. Will, when I was younger, I would dream of this. Watching the dial just go straight up. Mm -hmm. uh, like pouring a drink into a glass. Impressive. That's science fiction. Like a full tummy. So it's the Reno Ace and I even have Gundam edition, which beforehand, Will's like, let me fill you in on Gundam, which I was offended by, in fact. And I said, yeah, it's like Transformers sort of. He was like, what? Special edition, Gundam. Of course, Judner would love this one as well. Mm -hmm. But if you're unfamiliar with Gundam, Will brought this in just to make the case. All right, that's what you're dealing with. Just don't say it reminds you of Transformers or Power no. Rangers or anything else. No. It is Gundam. Okay, Reno Ace, 450, 450 bucks? Yeah, around there. You're looking at Snapdragon 855, of course. There's a number of cameras there. Look at that, including the 48 megapixel indicator up top, a 90 Hertz display, which is becoming this thing that we're looking for now. It seems like the next spec that everything's gotta have. Refresh 90 rate. Hertz or up. It's a 6.5 inch water drop display. Dry ice constant cooling system. Stereophonic dual loudspeaker. Five times hybrid optical zoom. They're calling this color. Listen to this. Psychedelic purple and starry blue. Well, we got starry blue. I know Jack's upset. He was more interested in psychedelic purple. A basic case to get you up and running. It's always a nice little touch. USB type C with the super VOOC indicator. Obviously you have a larger power brick to deliver that tremendous charge. Let's do the Gundam one. So this is modeled after the Gundam RX-78-2. That's the OG Gundam. Will he do? Since 1979, it's the 40th anniversary. Ooh, okay. Look at this. Look at that. It's got a robotic kind of vibe to it. Kind of has a pearlescent thing to it, so it's reflective. This Gundam head right here. You have the gold rim around the camera cutout. You have a red along the bottom. All right. Oh, Gundam inspired. Soft touch with the Alcantara type of feel. The Gundam outline. It's also the shield of the Gundam. That's the shield? It's the case, yeah. Nice. Very cool. I assume you're gonna pay a few more dollars for that, Will. Looks to be about 500 bucks. Okay, so not, not, a, not a ton more. Which one should we continue to video with? The cool one? All right, we're gonna put a fingerprint as well, it prompts you, so it's an in-display fingerprint setup. Ooh, we're in. And the Gundam continues on this model. Yeah, very mech-like. Very mech-like. Even the icons went mech. It's similar mech-likeness that flows all the way through it. It's sort of cohesive. Look at this. See how fast that comes down? Look at that. That's what the 90 Hertz does for you. It gives you this instantaneous feel to it, which you can't go back. Go full brightness, turn off auto mode. Oh, also AMOLED. It's crazy what we're doing for 400 these days, Will. 500 nits of brightness, big nit guy, will he do? Oh, by the way, with the face unlock, it's so crazy. You can see where the, like the lock is off. Wait, watch. Okay, the lock is there. The lock is off. The lock is there, off. The optical face unlock has gotten crazy. I've said it in the past. It's not the most secure option that's out there, but if you're in this for convenience, that experience is by far the best. Or the in-display fingerprint, which there you can get a sense for that speed as well. So I mentioned the cameras, of course, we gotta go there. This is the 1X setting. Move into the 2X. We got the 5X hybrid. Let's see what this thing's capable of. And then of course we have the ultra wide. And that triggers the HDR actually automatically when it saw more of the frame. Okay, so that's your wide field of view. You can see obviously how much can fit in. You see a lot more of the table, the displays. This is your hybrid zoom. It's a hybrid style, it's 5X. The next one over, that's the 2X. That looks like a decent performer. And then of course, 
we have the main camera module that's probably the most contrasty that's the image with the 48 megapixel sensor f17 so this camera versatility stuff is just out of control you get so many choices these days now it's triggering beauty mode by default i'm going to turn that off arguably too much detail for many users they don't want to look at themselves like that they want to smooth it out well mm. I don't want to be, I don't need to be smoothed out. No, you want the grizzle. I'm a grizzled vet. Yes. I mean, they have all kinds of settings. Smoothing, thinner face, smaller face, chin, bigger eyes, smaller nose. In the old days, you were looking like a cartoon character. Hmm. Now, even with max thin face, it's subtle. That's not really something I need in my life. Somebody's into it, so whatever. More tools, I guess, I don't know. Let's play some video first dip the battery a bit lower and then hit it hit it with the 65 watt juice because that's what we're here for that's what the people are here for that's what you're here for Vuk. that's what i'm here for okay i gotta check out this phone i know we have it here the oppo reno ace oh and it's for a completely huh. different I reason i didn't plan that okay, well not a different time. reason but an exclusive reason which generally wouldn't get me that excited or or at least not this excited all right let's do the test the real test everybody's here for it Super Vuk. I should use the Gundam brick. It's only fair. I have to admit, I don't know I've ever been so excited to charge something. We go ahead, plug it in. Ooh, look at it, 48. Oh, baby! It is so confidence inspiring to watch your battery go up that fast. It's cooking. It's cooking! You really wish that every phone on the planet had this. To put this in perspective, this is charging at 65 watts. For example, the charger that ships with the uh, iPhone 11 Pro, that's a, an 18 watt charger. With the standard iPhone 11, they're still shipping a five watt charger. This is a 65 watt charger for your smartphone. It's the fastest charging smartphone on earth and you get to watch it in real time. As the battery is discharged, SuperVoot 2.0 adopts the charge pump voltage reduction technique where the voltage of the dual battery is halved by the charge pump to hit the value that can power on the mobile. Besides, Reno Ace supports PD and QC 18 watt quick charge. I Means high tech stuff going on, Will. Very impressive. Super cool. Super VOOC 2.0. It's the killer feature of this particular device.